Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Elias, and welcome back to Super Hostile Legendary. This is going to be the final episode, because last time we got the red wool. Uh, from over here, there's a void area. Um, it was terrible, but we did it. It was not too much of a problem to get rid of this. Uh, and then we have came, uh, came up to this part, which is a lava lake and a vertical shaft. So, I know what's left of this area, and I know for a fact we're going to finish it today. So, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to climb straight up with ladders, um, because why not? And then we are going to hopefully have enough blocks to, well... Uh, make our way the rest of the way up to the final area, the most difficult area, right? Right. Right. Uh, so, like I said, I know what to expect. I know what's coming. Um, and we just need to kind of staircase up. Uh, there's not much else to say. I don't believe there's any spawners in this area. There's actually something really interesting. Um, in the form of, uh, there are actually big, how do I want to describe them? Um, they're big spawning platforms. There's a ton of them, uh, in this area to prevent pigmen from spawning. Uh, and it's kind of interesting. It's old school mechanics. Um, don't know if they still work to be honest, but I mean, it is a thing. So we're going to have to double back and then can we get through that? Yes. Um, so we'll just do something like this. And cool. Here we are. The final area. Take a chance, live a little. Total victory or total defeat awaits you. Ah, must be, must be a major challenge, right? You know those old games where you got three lives and no continues, and if you lost, that's it, game over. Well, about the twenty-seven wool you were supposed to get. Yeah, about that. So, this is. An interesting area. By the way, I have no idea what all is down there. I can't really tell what those blocks are. They look weird. There's a lot of uh, stuff. Um, there's a ton of spawning areas around here because gas would ruin this trap. And it's not really a trap. And, um, well, here's the thing. There is, if we look at our Y level, we're 71. This is, this is something we can actually build at. Um, and so what we can do is this. Now, the thing is, um, this is old school type of stuff. Floating gravel was really weird back in the day. And when this first came out, this was a gigantic trap. Um, but it was a mind game. Uh, so you see this gigantic, uh, well, gravel structure. It's all gonna come down once we either break an item, um, break the top of that to open the chest, or break the chest, it's gonna fall down. Um, I have seen people try to catch the gravel so that that doesn't come down or whatever, and a lot of different things. But um, when this map first came out, there was a lot of fear. So Kaizo Caverns was one of the first major uh, super hostile games. History of super hostile games. Let's let's talk about this. We this the wall is right in there. So um, once we get the, grab the wall out of there and head back, we'll grab the red wall on our way back, and then we're just gonna walk back to um, base and finish this map. Um, but I have to I have to set the scene. So super hostile number four, Kaizo Caverns, was a huge deal. Um, nothing was quite like that, and there was traps around every corner. Um, literally, there were traps everywhere. Um, we'll get to that map eventually. And 
well, this map came out. This is technically super hostile number seven. Uh, and this map came out promising to be bigger and badder than anything else um, that Vex, the map maker, had ever made. And so getting to this point and finally getting to the Black Wolf with next to no opposition um, outside of the Red Wool area, uh, there was a little bit of, well, what can the map maker possibly throw at us? And this is what this gravel wall represents, kind of. It is a mind game. Um, the secret, though, the secret to dealing with this, just break the gravel. It all falls. It's actually kind of funny. And then it falls to reveal. Um, maybe. Oh, right. It blows up. There's a contraption down there to blow it up. And it falls to reveal. How... Oh early 2000s I think yeah it's a giant troll face uh, anyways black wool's right here um, don't want any of this stuff let's grab the sword let's grab the armor let's grab the apples why not yeah there's nothing here it's it's a joke um, the end of this map is sort of a joke like it's supposed to be difficult to get up here um, like through all of the all of the traps and stuff through this final area but just <laughs> To be honest, this final area, uh, because we can build everywhere, is a lot easier than it looks. Um, some of the harder areas are like, uh, one of the worst areas in this map is by far, um, oh, what is it called? The, the Swamp of Despair. That place is terrible. Um, but everything else is pretty, pretty straightforward and easy. So, yeah. Um, a lot of mind games, but in the at the end of the day, it was absolutely nothing. Okay, I can't see. Thank you, Mr. Pigman. There's so many Pigmen here. Uh, I guess we jump one more time. Yes. All right. Um, I'll leave that wall there just in case something does happen. Um, but we're gonna grab the rest of the wool. Oh my gosh. These pigmen are the actual worst. Okay, so uh, we have the red wool, we have the black wool. It is time to head back to base uh, and get out of here and ruin this. So, a legitimate thing though, we only have one black wool. There is only one black wool in this entire map. Uh, so we lose this, we do technically lose the game. Um, we, we lose the map and we cannot complete it. So there's a little bit of a risk, but uh, to get this black wool back is not too terrible. Um, we've made our path fairly secure. Uh, really the worst part is going to be this bridge coming up and then um, just the general nether area. So you know what, we're going to take that off the bar. We're going to hold on to the black. Uh, wool, but we're going to uh, have a fire resist potion on our hot bar just in case. So yeah, um, that is gonna be it for this map. Um, like I said, that last area is mostly oh my gosh, magma cubes. Um, interesting. Uh, those guys can actually hurt really badly. But yeah, so that last area is is a little bit of a joke. It's a troll. It is very much a mind game to try to mess with the player and try to get you to overthink and, well, the real trap is breaking the chest and trying to save the black wool. That's why there's other items. That's why there's non-stackable items. If your inventory is any bit full, um, you'll never actually be able to save the black wool. Uh, so... That's... Oh my gosh, there are so many gas. Alright. Let's try our hardest to get through here. And we're gonna hide for a second. Uh, is there anything in here we want? Let's grab our diamonds, our old sword, our pants, our pick. And... A lot of stuff we're not gonna like end up taking back. We'll take the gold. And I'm gonna take my enchanting table because why not? 
Okay, so... Uh, let's head back. Uh, this part is going to be perfectly safe because of what we've done. Unless we get hit while we are, like, jumping or something. Um, but, yeah, so, um, the biggest, the biggest troll with that black wall is just that, um, if you're scared of the gravel, you can try to break the chest and then grab the wool, but it'll probably fall in the lava and you'll, you'll lose. Uh, so, it's, it's a lot of mind games, and, well, when you know the, when you know the trick, it's not a concern. Um, or if you realize that there's absolutely nothing that can come from the giant wall of gravel, um, at least in this version of the game, uh, then there's nothing to worry about. It's like, I, I could see maybe, um, I don't even know how that would do. Command blocks nowadays would potentially make things a little bit, um, well, more risky, but, uh, this is the only other, this is another room that is a little bit dangerous. And it's not this part, but it's the second part because gas can spawn in here. But it doesn't look like there's one. So, um, we should be fine. Just gotta deal with all the pigmen. It's really annoying because I can't see past them. Alright, let's eat some more food. Um, so we're almost to the fluffy bunnies of joy. Uh, and then we have to just make our way across the nether uh and then that'll be that'll be that so i've said this before um we are going to be playing the newest uh super hostile map uh after this one uh the map is called isolation it's been out for not very long a couple of months like maybe a couple of months i don't actually know when it came out officially um i know very little about it i know that it's not a full 16 wool i believe it's like seven or nine uh, I'm not entirely sure, but um, it's it's ice theme. That's that's pretty much all I know about it. I've seen very little of it. Um, I've seen a couple of the areas just kind of glancing. Uh, Vex, the map maker, did do a uh, a bit of a playthrough of a, a devcom type stuff. Um, I watched like pieces of it. But I, I kind of specifically stayed away from it, just so that one will be completely blind, more or less. Um, and yeah, after that, we'll find other super hostels, I'm sure. And really not much to say. Let's take the gas tier. Gas tiers are rare. Uh, anything in here that I want? Nope. Okay. So let's get out of here. Let's get out of the nether for the last time. So the nether of this map, um, the nether always has the problem of, well, normal mobs don't spawn. The only things you have to deal with are mob spawners, um, gas and pigment, uh, and I guess magma cubes, but that's a little bit rare. Uh, unless there is some sort of like um, fortress manipulation you'll, where you'll have to deal with wither skeletons, there's not much left. So, of this area, there is the taco, which is probably the hardest area. Um, the fluffy bunnies of doom and the face of evil are both pretty easy, to be honest. Uh, for being the last areas, they're pretty straightforward and easy. Um, and then the uh, super awesome box of fun, or whatever it's called, uh, that one is actually kind of difficult. So, uh, you know, let's put... What do we want to save here? Let's put this stuff away. We don't need all the gold. We'll take the gold ingots, why not? We'll take the food. Uh, this bow served me well. We'll take the iron. But more importantly, we need, uh, I guess we're not gonna take the gas here or the iron. I guess we don't need that or that. There's all the wool and that armor served me pretty well as well. Um, we did pretty good, I think, overall. Uh, let's take the iron. Sure, why not? So, um, yeah, large part of the nether is the fact that you can't really have mo normal mob spawn. There is no concern with darkness outside of mob spawners. So it's one of those things that's kind of nice for the player, um, but it makes it difficult to make difficult areas. And the more difficult areas are almost always in the nether, um, which is kind of, well, it it's weird. Um, 
but all in all, I think the hardest area of this map is um, probably one of the more difficult areas is dealing with the Peaceful Lake. Um, Peaceful Lake is a pain to deal with uh, because creepers floating up at you is just horrible. Um, I also kind of dislike the Swamp of Despair. It's a bit of a maze. It's really, really annoying. Uh, and yeah, what else is there that's difficult? Um, East Commons is a good area. We avoided some of the worst areas of the East Commons. We avoided a lot of areas, um, to be perfectly honest. And a large reason for that is just because there was no reason to. Um, the castles, uh, Castle Ira. Castle Ira was not bad. The worst castle is NVIDIA um, because of getting up into that, that obsidian bedrock box and dealing with all the creeper spawners. Um, Merciless Magma Zone is pretty easy, pretty straightforward over there. Um, there is a large area that we kind of avoided in there as well, but um, like I said, there is a lot of kind of sights and sounds to go see in this map, and most of them we just kind of ignored because, well, there was next to no reason to. Um, West Commons is another area that is pretty, pretty difficult to deal with, and that's one that... Uh, it's difficult because of all the lava traps. Uh, there are a ton of lava traps in that area. Uh, and, you know, just kind of just thinking back of all the areas. Uh, floating Shards is actually one of the harder first areas just because of the amount of blocks that you need to kind of get across. But you have the advantage of if it's daytime, it doesn't matter. Um, and, and that's the thing is you've got to be smart about how to take on a lot of these areas. And it's... It's a lot easier than it seems, especially in uh, this current version of Minecraft, which I'm playing in 1.3.1. I don't know if that's what it, these are intended for. I don't believe so. I believe it was like 1.2. But when I first started playing this, I couldn't get that to work or something like that. I don't remember. Uh, so it's just one of those things of trying to get... Uh, once you know where the wool, are, the wool is, each of the wools are... I don't know. Um, English. It's hard. Uh, once you know where the wool is in an area, it's it's a lot easier to kind of deal with things. Um, we avoided some of the really, really bad areas. There's one area in the East Commons that is absolutely a nightmare. It is the castle um, off to the side. And you go through a ton of spawners and gas and just all sorts of nightmare stuff to get a stick. Um, it is a complete and utter troll. Don't do it. Don't ever go there, and you will regret it if you do. Because not only is there just a stick over there, it's in a... Uh, oh, it's in a... Uh, oh, it's in a chest that's covered with bedrock. Not bedrock, uh, obsidian. <laughs> bedrock would make it so you could open it, ever. Um, but yeah, so... All in all, I really like this map. Um, I also like the bridge that we made. Uh, I'm kind of sad I didn't make it a covered bridge because that was the original plan, but I think it looks really nice. Um, I never really worked too hard cleaning up this area. Honestly, uh, I don't play these to build. I play these to, well, collect all the wool. And there is a trap right there. Uh, by the way, if you try to like clear out the ceiling for whatever reason, yeah, there's a victory monument trap. So, let's go ahead and put the final wools on here. So we have the cyan wool, followed by the purple, and then the blue. So there are three more wool. We are going to put those in there. Uh, then we have the red wool our gold block, our diamond block, and of course the black wool. So this map all in all is really fun. Um, it aged a little bit to be honest. Uh, enchants and potions kind of broke this map, but especially, especially uh, pain water. Pain water is probably the hardest area if you don't use potions or do any of the other cheesy strats to get the wool. It is the worst area um, by far because it is absolutely difficult. But 
Victory Monument completed. We have finally finished Legendary. And... Oh man, you know what? Let's... Let's remove these. Um... And I'm gonna go grab some glowstone. Hopefully nothing spawns while we're gone. Uh, shouldn't, to be honest. <laughs> I never, ever, ever clean up my inventories. Uh, so let's grab some glowstone. And let's see. Right here. Right here. Here. And I guess right here would be good. Let's actually put a piece of sandstone right there. Cover it up a little bit. Okay, so that looks a lot better. Other than the floating blocks. Ah, Minecraft. It's always broken. Um, cool. So, the reason I'm doing this is because it's going to make things look nicer. Uh, we can just put a torch over here. That should be far enough away. Uh, because I'm going to take a screenshot of this. Um, this has been so long in the making for me. Um, and I, we finally did it. We finally finished the Victory Monument for Super Hostile Legendary. Uh, so, that's going to be it for this series. Um, like I said, we're going to move on to Isolation next. That is the next map on my little, well, on my list, I guess. I don't actually have a list. It's just kind of the next thing we're going to do. Um, but before we go, you know what? Um, can I go game mode C? Uh, game mode creative? Is that another command in this? Help. Um, well, sure is now. Um, game mode creative. Cool. So we are, whoa. Um, well, hopefully that didn't mess up my recording. Uh, apologies. I just had a pop up at Java firewall type stuff. Um, but we completed the map. I, this is not cheating. I've already beat the map. So you can see that there are uh, numbers that so when Vex was kind of flying around, well, like flying around in MC Edit, he could see where everything was. Um, and actually, right here is where I wanted to go anyway. So um, this guy, this gigantic tree right here, has some stuff in it. Um, there is treasure. There's also a ton of spawners underneath. Um, which is kind of, uh, well, terrifying. But yeah, there is a ton of spawners right here. And there is, I believe, at the very top of the tree, which, by the way, is this? That's solid. Um, there is a chest up here. Uh, in case you're curious, I knew about this, but I just want to kind of mention this. There is a chest right here, and it has a bunch of good stuff. Um, it's well worth it. And then there is another chest even higher up. Um, somewhere up here, I think. I always thought there was a chest up here. Maybe not. Um, I could have sworn there was a diamond axe up here somewhere. But, um, yeah. I want to go over to this castle because I want to show you guys just how bad this area is and just what is in the chest. I want to... Okay, I'll be honest. I actually want to make sure that there is actually... Um, still nothing there. Also in one of the areas, I think in this area, there is a diamond sword hidden in the wall somewhere. Um, there, there's an area that looks like a giant skull. Um, if you go there, there is a wall. Uh, there is, there's a wall. There is a chest that has a, a diamond sword. At least used to. But yeah, this area is absolutely terrible. Gas spawners. And all this leading to a chest back here. Encased an obsidian with a stick. And if you like the map, feel free to donate. Yeah. Uh, 
That's rude. Anyways, um, I just wanted to show that off because it's funny to me. And I wanted to kind of make sure that it was still there. But I am going to end the, end the series off here um, because, well, there's nothing left to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, um, the series in general. And I will see you guys in the next map. Bye!